how do you think Canadians will consume media in the next 50 years? I think the history of media is all about getting closer and closer to the real thing. So just when you thought it was about as immersive as it could get, just as you thought the screen was about as big as it can get, the audio was as powerful as you can get, it is going to get bigger and more powerful. The students today are wondering what's the future of TV, what's the future of media, and to me it's perfect sense to bring Moses because he's the guy who's been at the forefront of that for decades. I think you said that a channel really shows itself um, during the flow. How does that translate um, through Netflix and um, online streaming? Does that exist still or not at all? It's, it's not a companion experience. A radio station, a television station, something you turn on and you may not watch it every second of the day or be actively listening to it, but it's, it's part of your life and it's part of the background of your life and it's maybe the soundtrack of your life. I think what a lot of people might have taken out of it, that uh, television isn't dead, that um, streaming uh, new media, new social media and everything isn't actually replacing television. It's uh, just going to coexist together, just as television did not replace radio. Well, that I believe that TV should be more than just entertainment, so uh, I think that he definitely has a passion for, for television, and uh, you can see that he's fighting for it, not only for, gener uh, for younger generations, but also older generations. It's interesting when we talked about what Moses had sort of started before he arrived, uh, it's sort of all the stuff that they take for granted now as almost being, you know, just there all the time. They didn't realize that someone actually dreamt it up and made it happen.